All right, here's a quick explanation of the last question on the quiz for you, the llama question. Llama population on island is modeled by a differentiable function p of time t, where p of t is the number of llamas and t is measured in years between 0 and 40. There are 30,000 llamas on the island when t equals 0. The birth rate for the llamas is, is modeled by b of t, and the death rate is modeled by d of t. Okay, so this is one of those rate in, rate out. The birth rate is obviously the rate in, the death rate is the rate out. But the key in all of this is the rates. And I think that's where some of you had issues. What's rate mean in calculus? Rate means derivative. So let's write what you know. P of t is the population. It's the number of llamas on the island at time t. So P of t is the population. Okay, so that means the rate of change of the population is the rate in minus the rate out. P prime of t is equal to B of t minus D of t. That's P prime, that's not P. So part A says, what is the rate of change of llama population of the island at t equals zero? The rate of change is P prime. So for part A, you should be finding P prime of zero, which is just B of zero minus D of zero. Some of you tried to take the derivative of B and D, and that's just, that'd be the second derivative, that'd be P double prime of T. So all we need to do here is we need to do 800 E to the zero minus 150 e to the 0, obviously e to the 0 is 1, so this is going to just get us to 650. And it didn't say to use units or anything like that. The AP will take off if you do wrong units, if they don't ask for it. So it should be llamas per year, because it's a rate, but if you just said 650, that's the safest. Don't give them more than they ask for. Part B, to the nearest whole number. What is the llama population of the island at time t equals 40? Okay, well, you know this also. You know there's 30,000 llamas on the island when t equals 0. So that right there tells you that p of 0 is equal to 30,000. So this is definitely one of those fundamental theorem questions. This is when you're looking for p of 40, you know p of 0 the only formula you have is for p prime. So part b is where you would do the integral from 0 to 40 of b of t minus d of t dt is equal to the population of 40, which is what we want, minus the population of 0. Now, if you didn't write dt there, they're going to take off. And I took off for it on the test, too, if you had missing dt's. Okay, so this is where I do math 9. So if I do math 9, and I go 0 to 40 of b of t, which again is 800 times e to the 0 0.05t, minus 150 times e to the 0.1 t and this whole oops the x I want this whole thing comes out to be 21827.672 so this over here is 21827 um, Point six seven two dot 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 equals p of forty, which I want to find uh, minus thirty thousand, because we know that p of zero we set up here is thirty thousand. So if I just add that thirty thousand over, so plus thirty thousand, it said fifty one eight twenty seven point six, and it did say to the nearest whole number, so fifty one point eight twenty eight. 
51,828 in that point is approximately equal to P of 40. Okay, so get used to when you have a rate and you're looking for the original equation, you take the integral. There's actually two ways to do C. To the nearest whole number, what's the average rate of change of the llama population? Average rate of change of the llama population. So of the population would be change in P over change in T. So average rate of change means take the slope of population. So P of 40, what we just found, minus P of 0, which I know is 30,000, all over 40 minus 0, and I can plug that in. So 51,828 minus 30,000, enter, divide by 40, and I end up with 546. Again, it said to the nearest whole number. Again, it did not ask you for units, so don't leave them. If you did leave them, that's fine as long as it's correct. It's y over x, so llamas per year. Okay, now I said there was two ways to do C. The average rate of change of populations means slope of population. You can do it that way. The other way is average of the rate of change. I also do know equations for the rate of change. The rate of change is b of t minus d of t. So you could do the 1 over b minus a, so 1 over 40 in this case, 40 minus 0, times the integral from 0 to 40 of the rate of change, which is b of t minus d of t et. Let's see what you get when you do that. It's 1 over 40 times the integral, math 9, from 0 to 40 of the birth rate, which again was 800 e to the 0.05t minus the death rate. So minus 150 times e to the 0.1t dt. Again, notice I put a dt there, and look what you get. 545.6, 546. You get the exact same thing. So when you see the word average, if it's average rate of change and you have an equation for the rate of change, you can use 1 over b minus a of the rate of change. That should have been 40, sorry. If it's the average rate of change of something else that you have, that's together average rate of change means slope of the thing we're looking for. Okay? All right, last one. They want the absolute maximum and the absolute minimum. Of what? And the absolute maximum minimum of the llama population. So population was P of T. If I want to find the absolute max or min, we take P prime and we set it equal to zero. Well, again, P prime is just B of T minus D of T equals zero. So I'm finding where does B of T equal D of T? Where is the birth rate equal the death rate? This is me finding where the slope equals zero. It's finding critical values. So 500. All right, it's 800, sorry. 800 E to the 0 0.05 P and Y1 and Y2, I'm going to put 150 times E to the 0.1 T. I only care between 0 and 40. Why min, why max? I'm not necessarily going to know. Um, let's try the standard window to start out with. Let's see if that gives us anything. Looks like I'm not going to see anything. Okay, so rather than just willy-nilly guessing on where these are going to intersect and what windows I need, 
let's use this one. If I instead do y1, y2, if I find where the subtraction equals 0, then I know I'm just going to be looking for where it hits the x-axis. I won't have to worry about the window. Okay, so if I do that, I can clear this out of here and go up to here. And then just do minus 150 times e to the 0.1t. I can still use my 0 to 40. You know that's all that really matters. And I'm just looking for where it crosses the x-axis. Found it. So if you want, you can do y2 equals 0. Sometimes that's helpful because then I can just do second calc intersect. Second calc intersect. First curve, second curve, guess. 33.480 it looks like. Then if you want the absolute min and max, you have to take, make a table. And you don't just check the critical point, you also check the endpoints, so 0 and 40. Now do we know the population is 0? We do, it's 30,000. Do I know the population of 40? I do, it's 51,828. So all I need is the population at this critical value, which I can do the same step as I did in part B. If I'm going to go from 0 to that critical value. So it's the integral from 0 to 33.480 of birth rate minus the death rate dt, and that should equal p of 33.480 minus p of 0. Okay, so let's go math 9, 0 to 40, and b of t is that 800 e to the 0.05t number minus the birth rate, which is 150, or death rate, sorry, times e to the 0.1t dt. That'll give me this left side, but again, it's minus p of 0, so i got to add that 30,000 to it. 51,828, it looks like. Wait, did I just do 0 to 40? Silly Mr. Laley, what are you doing? Sorry. Let me go back and change that. The upper limit needed to be 33.480. Sorry, there's that number plus the 30,000. 51,167. 58, what was it? 58,167. Okay, so go back and check what it asked for. Show the analysis that leads you to your conclusion. I did that. I need to the nearest find. I, okay, so I need the actual population. So answer the question. The max is 58,167, and the minimum is 30,000. I don't have to justify because it, it doesn't say that. It just says show the analysis, which I did. All right, so hopefully that made sense. There's an explanation for you. Let me know if you got any other questions.